integration by substitution 2. Here we have integral 0 to 1 x e to the x squared sine of e to the x squared dx. We will let u be equal to the inside function. In this case, u is equal to e to the x squared and du is equal to take the derivative, that's e to the x squared, apply the chain rule, derivative of x squared, that's 2x dx. Now, rewrite this, that's integral um, x e to the x squared is just u sine of u times dx. Now we can't have x's and u's in the same integral. So let's algebraically solve for dx from this step. dx is equal to du divided by e to the x squared times 2x. Substitute this dx in here, and we get x times u sine of u. dx is du divided by e to the x squared times 2x. Um, now, u is equal to e to the x squared, so this is going to cancel with this because they're equal to, e to each other. The x's cancel out. We have one half integral sine u du. Now these limits belong to x. This is x equals 0, x equals 1. We have to substitute them into this equation u equals e to the x squared to get a new limit that belongs to u. So plugging x equals 0 into this equation, we get e to the 0, that's 1. Plugging x equals 1 into this equation, we get e. So let's integrate. We get 1 half. Integral sine is negative cos of u from 1 to e. Apply the evaluation theorem. Negative 1 half times cosine of e minus cosine of 1. All right, that is the solution. Let's go over the theory. When you have integral a to b, f of g of x, g prime of x, dx. Um, don't forget to change the limits. x equals a, this is in fact x equals a, x equals b. These limits belong to x. And now plug x equals a into u equals g of x, and you get u equals g of a, u is equal to g of b. So this is the idea um, when you have a definite integral involving the method of substitution. Uh, let's look at another integral. Integral log x cubed over x dx. We will let u be the inside function. Let u equals ln x. Its derivative du is 1 over x dx. dx is equal to x d. Uh, integral ln x, that's just u. So that's u cubed. Divide by x times dx. Now we, we have already solved for dx, dx is equal to x du. The x's cancel out. We get u to the fourth over 4 plus c. Now I'll put u back in so we can get the answer in terms of x. Log x to the power of 4 over 4 plus c. All right, so just to review these two questions, in the first question, we let u be equal to e to the x squared because its derivative gave us the rest, x e to the x squared dx. In the second equation, we let u equals ln x. Its derivative gave us 1 over x dx, which appears in the, integr in the integral. Okay, let's look at another example. Here we have integral x root 1 minus x dx. Um, again, we will let u be equal to the inside function, u equals 1 minus x. du is equal to minus dx. And um, so we rewrite this as integral x root of u 
solve for dx, that's du, is actually minus du, so I'll put a minus outside. Now, we can't have x's and u's in the same integral, so let's solve for x in terms of u. Bring x to this side is equal to bring u to the other side is 1 minus u. So we have algebraically solved for x in terms of u. Substitute that in, and we get minus integral x is 1 minus u times root u, that's u to the 1 half, du. That's minus integral u to the 1 half minus u to the 3 half du. So we get minus u to the 1 half, we integrate that, we get u to the 3 half, 2 thirds. Minus u to the 3 half plus 2 over 2, that's u to the 5 half, times 2 fifths. Multiply it out, you get minus 2 thirds, u to the 3 half, plus 2 over 5, u to the 5 half, plus c. Now put u back in, we get minus 2 thirds times u, which is 1 minus x, to the power of 3 half, plus 2 over 5, times u, which is 1 minus x, to the power of 5 over 2, plus c. All right, that's the solution. Now let's look at a theory question. Here we have integral from 1 to 9 f of x dx is equal to 10. And we would like to find integral 0 to 2 x squared f of x cubed plus 1 dx. We let u be equal to the inside function x cubed plus 1. Its derivative du is 3x squared dx. Integral x squared f of u times dx is du over 3x squared. The x squared cancels. We take out the 1 third integral f of u du. But again, this, these limits belong to x, so this is x equals 0. x equals 2. Plug this into u, x equals 0, and you get u equals 1. x equals 2, we get 2 cubed plus 1, that's 9. So we have to change the limits. But this is exactly the same as what we're given here. Integral 1 to 9, f of x dx equals 10. Um, we have u here, but that doesn't matter. This is just a uh, variable of integration. So this is going to be 10. And the answer is 10 over 3. So just to review, we let u be equal to x cubed plus 1. We took its derivative. And don't forget to change the limits. And when we get to this stage, we realize that this is exactly the same as what we were given. All right, let's go over the theory. Um, let's go over the theory of the substitution rule. Here's a diagram. Substitution rule diagram. You're given f of g of x, g prime of x dx. You make a substitution that u equals g of x. Um, integral f of u du, because this part is f of u and g prime of x dx, that's du. Um, let me write that in. This is du, and this part is f of u. Now, we integrate this simpler integral with respect to u. We get the antiderivative f of u plus c. Put u back in, so we get the entire answer in terms of x. We get capital F of g of x plus c. Note, if you're not sure how to choose u, choose u to be the inside function. Example, if you have integral root 9 minus t squared times t dt, choose u to be 9 minus t squared. This strategy will work most of the time. Thanks. Let me clarify some steps. On page 4, we have integral 0 to 1 x root of 1 minus x dx. At this step, we have integral u to the 1 half minus u to the 3 half du. We integrate term by term, applying the reverse of the power rule. Integral of u to the 1 half, add 1 to the exponent, we get 3 half divided by 3 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. Um, now integrate u to the 3 half, add 1 to the exponent, we get u to the 5 half, Dividing by 5 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2 over 5. 
And here we have the substitution rule diagram. At this step, I should have written du is equal to g prime of x dx. And the substitution is u equals g of x. Thanks. I need to make a correction to example 8 on page 4. Uh, here we wrote integral 0 to 1 x root 1 minus x dx. And the answer here involves plus c, which is means that it has to be an indefinite integral. So there are no limits of integration here. This is just a plain integral x root 1 minus x dx, an indefinite integral. Thank you.